two pairs of leggings and doubling up on my socks and definitely drinking a lot of hot tea and having and knitting. Knitting keeps me warm. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So what keeps you alive through Duluth winters? Drinking lots of coffee and tea and staying inside. Well, I really love hitting up caribou all the time. That peppermint mocha is really, really great. Um, usually pair that with a walk through Bentleyville. Um, and then, you know, watch, trying to watch my Red Wings when they're going to be aired. Um, Gosh, an eternal hope that spring and summer will eventually show up. That's what keeps me alive during Duluth winters. PBR Ponders keep me alive in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> survive the Duluth winter is bundle up and get outside during the day when there's sun. It's so hard when it's dark in the morning, dark in the evening, so at least once a week or up to three times a week hopefully, I get out during lunch, get outside and, and soak up what sun there is. That's why I survive. I really like to go to Spirit Mountain and snowboard throughout the winter um, and just being able to hang out in the snow. What keeps me alive during a Duluth winter is going on lots of vacations and getting a lot of sunshine. <laughs> uh, hi, I survived the winter by cooking good food inside with my friends and um, going to music events to combat with winter blues, you know. And I play a lot of video games, I play hockey, I go winter camping, spend, still spend time outside, that's important. That's all. I'm taking lots of vitamin D because uh, mm -hmm. I hear that's a big deal. Um, I got one of the sunlights to uh, again help with with mood and stave off seasonal affective disorder. Mm -hmm. um, I bought some very warm winter boots, Perfect. and um, I am going to be shopping for a coat next week. <laughs> I do have some from Connecticut, but not designed for like sub-zero temperatures. <laughs> so um, coming from Connecticut, I have some experience with snow and cold, but the coldest it gets there is to right around zero, and that's usually only for a week or so, and the snow tends to like melt between mm -hmm. snowfalls, and I hear that doesn't happen here. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Dress warm, um, try to stay active, and stay indoors mostly. I think the main, the main thing as far as driving is just being smart on what, like, what, where the big hills are and um, where you can drive and where you can't. I have a car, so if there's a snow, big snowstorm coming, I have to decide on what hill, like, what hills I can't get, use or whatever. And otherwise, I would say just dressing for the weather um, and also having fun. I mean, I go snowboard and spearfall all the time and stuff, so yeah, that's a little bit. What keeps me alive through Duluth winter? Um, probably the fact that I know that spring has arrived every year and it will arrive again. Um, I also enjoy um, winter sports as well, so um, cross country skiing and hiking and uh, hopefully someday take up winter biking. So that's how I try to survive. Um, Spirit Mountain and snowboarding with all my friends who have season pass. What do I like to do in the winter in Duluth and what keeps me alive in the winter in Duluth? You know, I'd have to say it was living life large with my family. I've got uh, two young daughters and we love to go skiing. 
and it's a great time for us to be together. Sometimes we don't see each other outside of that. So we love the winter in my house. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, thanks for calling. All right, take care. Bye. Such a lovely voice, and I was like, that has nothing to do with. Yeah, I'm usually not one that likes to be on the.